Hiya, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lavish V here and a big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here, it is some hair, fashion, makeup, beauty, vlogging, and a lot of perfume reviews. Yes, if you haven't already subscribed, come on, you know what to do. Please hit the subscription button along with the notification bell. Please do watch my videos and leave me some thumbs up. And guys, girls, women, men, please don't forget to comment in my comment section as I am so enjoying the interaction with all of you guys. So yes, Please do keep your comments coming. So guys, without further ado, let's jump right into today's fragrance review. And the fragrances that I've got for you today, it is four of the Yardley London fragrances. And it says that this is the, um, basically, this is, I think, 15 mils bottles. And I've got four of them in a gift set here. And... Um, it's fa it's a fine fragrance collection. It's ninety percent natural, and it de um the the derived ingredients. And this is they are two hundred and fifty years old. And what does it say on the back? It says Yardley London has been capturing the delicate fragrance of English flowers since the the seventeen. 70s y'all 1770s so yes 250 years and a collection of beautiful natural base long lost in fine fragrances at a toilet from the Yardley London tradition of floral range. And as I said, it says 90% natural ingredients. So I'm intrigued. As you are aware, I'm always testing out the fragrances. So I've tested them out already. I've not used them like um going out going out i've used them indoors and around and going to the supermarket y'all so just to see how long they last for me and what i honestly feel about the fragrances so i'm gonna go ahead and open them out and um get rid of that box so what I've done, I've gone ahead and written the name of each fragrance beside them because on the bottle, it does not have um, the name of each fragrance on there. But pretty much you will tell because the, the first one, it is lavender and it is um, purple and you know purple is lavender. So anyway, I could recognize it via using that method and also the scent. But I'm just telling you what I've gone ahead and done to make sure that my smell and what you see is going on. So the first one, it is the English lavender. So we are going to put the notes for you on the screen here and we are going to spray our test strip, spray the atmosphere and let's discuss English lavender a little bit. So don't want to spray my eyes, y'all. Okay, so like the name has stated that this is lavender. It definitely is an aromatic lavender and it is, it's got some citrus. So I smell lavender mixed with citrus and it smells good. But even though it is good, I must be honest that this is a boring scent for me. Like, it's not giving me happiness. It's giving me, like, it is calming though. But it's not really perfumey, perfumey. It is more like a delicate kind of lavender scent that more what the the power that you would get from a hand cream and maybe some hand cream as a stronger 
um mixture of scent i don't know if that's because it's 90 percent um natural why it has that um kind of scent so i hope i'm explaining this well let me rest this one down here for a while and let's smell the test strip and let's see if it develops into something more than just bergamot and lavender citrus scent in the atmosphere so so on the test strip again lavender citrusy um a little bit of um, a vanilla it smells a little bit more in depth on the test strip than when you spray it from the projection but again very very aromatic and and um a little bit spicy um it kind of remind me of um eucalyptus drop but it's not potent with eucalyptus but again it is not a fragrance that i'm gonna run down a big bottle um it's okay and i feel like i would use this one to spray on my curtains like give the air some some freshness it doesn't smell like um a generic air freshener but it does have that kind of room fragranty kind of scent to me and not necessary are you know there's some hand wash that um that have a lavender effect that is what it's giving to me not really a perfume that i would wanna be wearing okay so let's move on with um the next one and the next one it is called english rose so i'm gonna spray the atmosphere again hmm okay so this one smells a lot more prettier this one definitely pops with um with with rose you get rose and it sucker punch you with some woodiness and it smells much much better and more like a fragrance for the body so it is a nice feminine rose and um what else would i want to say about the smell in the atmosphere apart from the little woodiness um it is floral like white florals and stuff like that that is what it's popping in the air and let's smell the test strip and see what else we smell okay i do like this one this one is a nice um woody musky rose it's aromatic it's floral it's rose it's woody and i do like this one so english rose get a thumbs up from me i like that one english rose so the next one i'm gonna talk about with the yardley okay i could finish the bottle of english rose that is the truth i do like that scent so let's spray lily of the valley and let's spray the atmosphere hmm. okay lily of the valley definitely lily of the valley then it smells green it smells floral whether that is lily and jasmine yeah and all of them kind of remind me of hair oil for some reason like it's got something that has to do with some hair oil in them um i don't know if that's because of the natural vegetable oils but that's what it's giving me a little bit of a oil effect in all the three that i've sprayed so far and previously that's what i get so this one is definitely lily it's green it's jasmine and um let us smell the test strip and see what else develops that i'm not smelling from the atmosphere
Okay, again, on the test strip I get jasmine, lily, of course. It smells green and it smells floral. I think um again I'm gonna wanna say it has white florals. Mm. And it is nice lily jasmine, but again, not one of my favorite scent from the four. It's still um, English rose that's leading, in my opinion, for this Yardley scent. So the last one that I have to review, it is, um, what did I write here? April Violet. So April's Violet, let us give it a spray and on the test strip already and let's spray the atmosphere. Okay. Again, this one. Hmm, no surprise there. Smell like violet and fruity. I think that is peach. And I beg to say this one has vanilla in it. It's not hidden. And again, I like this one. This one is my second favorite. It smells nice. It smells powdery like iris. It smells good. And I like the scent of this one, y'all. Um, so April Violet gets a thumbs up from me. Let me smell my test strip and let's discuss her a little bit more. Okay, so April Violet, yeah. Mm, something gone in. Is it hair in my eye? Okay. Wow. Here, don't go in my eye, please. Okay, guys, sorry for that. Some hair went in my eyes. So, with this April Violet, I'm going to say that this one, it is violet. It's vanilla. It's yellow floral. It's powdery. It is floral. It is aromatic. And it smells so good. It is fruity. I don't know if that fruit it is peachy. And it is a lovely scent, y'all. I like this one as well. I don't know if it's the vanilla in it that gives it the kick that I'm looking for in a fragrance. But it is smelling good and I give it a thumbs up as well. And I think this one dries down with some woodiness. And it smells good, y'all. It smells like a fragrance. So for me, from the four Yardly fragrances, guys, I'm going to say that um english lavender it was smelling like a room mist more than a fragrance to me i didn't dig that one so much and then with um english rose it is absolutely beautiful i did like the english rose and the lily of the valley i could give it a miss um as well but it was better than the english lavender and with the april violet it is uh, also a love for me i think um it is in the same line of um the english rose for me i could bear with both of them in a bigger bottle and use them as a fragrance opposed to a room miss art to say i don't want it none at all so it 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 it's got um two out of two two out of four was a uh, very much lag for me and the other two it is not so much lag for me but it's not horrible not the worst sense that i've ever smelled but i could do without them so for me english rose and april violet get a thumbs up and i would finish all those two bottles but with the other two i'm gonna pass them on to someone who would want them and yeah so that's it for the yardley um fragrance 1770 which is which is it's a good fragrance y'all i don't mind it 
so yeah that's it for the review i hope it's been useful for you i'm just trying to pack it back while i'm talking to you because i am tired now i've done a few reviews and i need to go and have a drink of water i'm thirsty